All right, welcome back on my legendary traders and entrepreneurs. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my live account. And also, one more thing too is I just added my live account to my FX book so you guys can see that it's a real account and you guys can follow my progress and see um, how well I'm doing or if I'm losing, if I'm down. I wanna show you guys the goods and the bads. I see a lot of YouTubers online just posting about daily profits and they don't show you the long-term results, okay? So even if you win today, for example, I can win a thousand today, but what if tomorrow I lose two thousand? And a lot of people I see, they don't want to show you the losses. So what really matters is at the end of the year, are you in profit, right? And not just that, how many trades do you take? What is your win percentage? And to see if it's a sustainable lifestyle, okay? And not just a gamble and not hitting just the jackpot, right? So if you guys are new to this channel, this is what it's all about, showing you guys the journey from zero to 100K, and just showing you guys the ups and the downs, and showing you guys the strategies I take, and hopefully helps you guys on your journey to becoming a profitable trader, and just giving you guys the path, and showing you guys what I'm doing, okay? All right, so you can see here, I'm still in this GN trade, but I'll just break down real quickly. I'm up $1,070.90. Seven cents trick to one, two, three, four, five, six trades. <clears throat> six trades here this week. So I had a little bit more trades this week. Um, I don't take a lot of trades, I I'm very selective in my trades, so that's why I don't have a lot of trades. A lot of people that enter even 10, 20, 30 trades a day if you're a scalper, but I just look for the best setup and I enter. So if you guys can see here, the take profit when it's green here, that means that I found an area that I think that it's going to just bounce there and not go beyond it. Um, but I'm still testing if I should still continue this strategy of just having a hard take profit. As you can see here, majority of my trades here um, are, what do you call it, um, red stop losses. That means that I did a trailing stop loss. So that's why I'm still in profit. And usually I aim for $200 with my live accounts. When I go back to my FTM accounts, I'll be aiming for 500 or more per account. So anytime it makes it over $200, you can see that I did a trailing stop loss and I actually got more than my goal for that trade. So which is a good thing. Um, this trade, I exactly don't remember why it's so low. I think because I entered um, late or I calculated my loss size wrong. Um, so this trade here, which one is it? This one, I closed it. Uh, because when I went to go look back at the trade, I saw that I feel like it wasn't going to go anymore, but it did continue to go, and I believe it went up a little bit more, uh, but I took my profit, and I'm okay with it, because if it did go down from that position, I would have been like, man, I knew I should have um, closed it, so even though it went beyond it, it's fine, you're not going to capture every move, like I said. Yeah, so these were my profits for this week, $1,070.97. Right now, my balance, I'm currently almost up $1,000. I'm only down, uh, so right now I'm up $800 with a running trade here. Even though I'm down $1,400 here, um, I don't consider it a loss yet until I close a trade. So I'm still going to let it run and GN. So I don't have uh, a stop loss in place. A lot of people, they say don't, um, or they say to use a stop loss. Uh, I don't let my trade just keep running. I find it to break structure. For example, here uh, for the H4, you can see here that it still has, it's still above the mover average 200. So it still shows room that will still move up. Um, a lot of people's, people's, or you guys are probably going to thinking like, wow, why is your um, stop loss so far compared to your uh, take profits and your wins? So the reason being is because if you guys saw my last video, I told you guys I don't use a one to one or one to two risk to reward ratio. My win percentage is really high, it's 90% or more. So that's why I rarely have any losses and majority of my trades are wins. So I'll make another video on that and breaking down why it works and why you don't always need to use a one to one or one to two risk to reward ratio. Yeah, but I'll break that down to another video. But my um, when I'm gonna close this trade, maybe when price closes up below it, um, below this moving average and below the Moving average, what do you call it? 50 here on the daily. But that's still a little far ways down. I still see the bias of it moving up. If I see it that um, it's not going to go my way anymore, then I'll close in the loss. Uh, once it gets closer to the moving average 200, I'm going to go back and draw some support and resistance lines. You can see here, this right here alone, just looking at it, you can already see here that there's a 
there's already a support line here so it might bounce here so you never know yet uh, I don't recommend you guys get into this trade because I'm already in a big drawdown so this could be a loss but who knows where it's gonna go you can never predict the market you can just see what it does and just respond to it yeah but that's it for my review of my live account if you guys are new to this channel hit the subscribe uh, I came starting this channel. If you guys go back, I was trading a demo account, becoming a $100 account, and then depositing $12,600, and here I am. Basically $800 in balance profit, okay? So equity, I'm still down, but then the trade hasn't closed yet, so I don't consider that as a loss yet. So it's still running. It can still go up. But if you guys have any questions, comment down below. And if you guys are ready for the next video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you guys be notified when it comes out, right?